Charlie, what is the primary role of the backup quarterback? <laughs> To be ready when your number's called, um, you know, uh, you try to you try to support Philip, you know, as much as you can, and, and, and help him if you can, you know, make him make him better player, you know, in the meeting rooms and practice. But uh, you're there just in case the the big guy goes down, and hopefully you can step in and play well. By support, what does that mean, though? Are you doing are you doing the extra things? Or are you pointing out things that he may or may not see, or, or what is it? I, I I don't I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't go that far. You just uh, you know the the quarterback room is kind of a tight grip tight-knit group of guys and um, you know obviously he's been here a long time and has done a heck of a job and you just you try to assist him any way you can but uh, the, the, the big job is you know one of these days you know there's a chance that he goes down and uh, you better be ready to go in there and win the game. Is it typical for a quarterback and the backup to have such a tight-knit relationship? I, I walk in there I, I saw how tight he was with when it was you and Billy and Philip then it was just him and Billy and then I see you guys are almost like almost like brothers and that's my observation when, when I see you you know after after practices and after games. Yeah I mean you know I, I've known him a long time played against him in college and uh, you know, he wasn't my favorite guy back then. But uh, why not? Because <laughs> he wore us out every time we played him. Okay. But um, you know, he was a heck of a player then. He is now. Um, we're, we are really good friends. Um, you know, the three of us when, when Billy was here, we were all, all great friends. So uh, and still are. So uh, I don't know if it's like that everywhere, but um, luckily, luckily, it is here. When I watch you guys, I watch you and Philip. There's like a little group that I see after practice. You, Philip, Jacob Hester's in that group. Nick Hardwick. What do you What do you guys talk about so intently after practice? Oh gosh, I don't know. I'm not giving away secrets. Yeah, what can I say? I'm kind of the new guy in that group. You know, I, I was here, you know, for four years before, and then uh, I was I was two in Seattle. But uh, it's great to come back and have a, a handful of guys that you were you were buddies with still on the team. And uh, you know, it's it's funny. You know, you play football and. It's amazing the friendships that, that you, you you know acquire and, and maintain throughout the year. So I, I hope I'm friends with those guys for a long time. Let's talk about the game, preseason game number three against the Vikings. Now, I'm following the game, watching on TV, and I'm on Twitter, and people are like, man, does, does North Turner hate Charlie Whitehurst? I mean, you took, you took quite a beating. How did the body feel, first of all, after that game? I'm not sure how you can prepare yourself for something like that. Uh, you know, I, I was a little sore after the game, but uh, it, it's good to be sore. You know, I hadn't played, uh, you know, been, been hit. I wasn't hit the week before in the... Uh, in the Cowboys game, and you know it had been a year, but you know since I was really, really hit a few times, and it felt pretty good. I thought the offensive line did a heck of a job. I mean, there was there was a few times, a few of the hits that I took were, uh, you know, plays that I could have got the ball out a lot quicker. So I, you know, I, I thought we matched up great against a great front, and um, it was a learning experience for all of us. I do want to ask you about the offensive line because when we met Norv the, a couple of days later at practice, he said that after watching film, that the offensive line actually had very good individual performances. What did you see when you went back and watched their performance and the game later on on film? Yeah, Norv was absolutely right. I mean, we, we, we matched up great. Uh, you know, we had, you know, Mike Harris over there against the 20 sack guy last year, and, and, and really did. He played well. He really played well. And there was a few times that, uh, you know, that they got in there and, and hit me. But like I said, you know, it's kind of a, it's a team effort. You know, I can get the ball out a little bit quicker and, and help those guys out. But, uh, you know, I, I thought we did a great job. And I said that after the game, and people were looking at me crazy, but I, I thought we matched up really well. The outfit now. Could Phillip Rivers pull off this outfit? Of course. Really? Absolutely. He's been hat? he's been in San Diego for a long time. Absolutely, he could. I, I don't I don't see what's. Uh, when people look at you and people running across you. Do they think okay, this guy plays football, or do they, do they think he's like in a band or something? I, I get tennis and volleyball a lot more than football for sure. It's probably because I'm too skinny. But um, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I looked a little bit different, I guess, in college. But uh, and people look at me like, what in the, what in the world? What's going on with you? And I'm just, I don't know. I'm the same guy. Thanks for your time, Charlie. Sure. Thanks, Mark.